Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about some friends to lovers romances. <laughs> I absolutely love the friends to lovers trope. I just love reading about couples who are friends first and start developing feelings through that. They develop a friendship bond at the beginning and so that their romantic relationship is just even stronger. And I love reading about friends to lovers so I have a bunch to recommend to y'all today. First we're gonna start out with the ultimate friends to lovers in my book, Radiance by Grace Straven. So this is actually a fantasy romance book. It is so good. It is amazing. Best friends to lovers romance I've ever read in my entire life. So in this fantasy land there are humans and then there are Kais. Kais are like gray-skinned humanoid people with yellow eyes and then the humans are obviously humans. And so he is a distant prince in the Kai kingdom and then she is I think the niece to a king and they get in an arranged marriage and when they first meet they think that the other one is hideous, ugly. But through all of this they develop a wonderful friendship through their marriage and it develops into something way more and it is fan-freaking-tastic. I love this couple so much. Ultimate friends to lovers in my book, that's for sure. So the next book that I have is Emma by Jane Austen, the classic friends to lovers. So this is about Emma who is notoriously known for setting people up. She loves love and loves meddling in love lives and getting people together. But little does she know that maybe her close, close friend, Mr. Knightley, may be her own love match. I love Emma and Mr. Knightley. They have a wonderful banter. It's an epitome of a friends to lovers romance for me. I absolutely adore this couple. Next we have Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. This is a contemporary romance where our main character named Archer was in a car accident when he was a little boy and he cannot speak anymore because of it. Uh, something happened with his vocal cords and he's not able to speak. So he's somewhat of a town outcast ever since then and he lives by himself and no one talks to him. He has like basically no friends and he does not know the ways of the world. And then we have our female main character Brie coming into the picture. She is new to this town and she ends up accidentally bumping into Archer. They end up developing a friendship and it grows into something more. Archer finally has a person that he can talk to and have conversations with. Because her father was deaf, she knows sign language so they're able to sign. So he's finally able to find someone who wants to and will communicate with him. This is just a wonderful friend to lovers that I absolutely uh door. Next we have My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren. Now this isn't one of my favorite Christina Lauren books but it's still good. This couple is all centered around Millie and Reed and they are both professors at a university and they have become friends through this big friend group where Millie is the only woman in the friend group but her and Reed have just been really 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 close. They have like this big gala coming up for their university and they all need dates and so they decide to all join this dating app to try and get a date to this gala but Millie ends up accidentally catfishing Reed. You'll figure out why it's an accident because it is an accident. Like she starts developing feelings for Reed through all of this and little does he know that the woman he's also falling for through this app is his best friend Millie. It's really really cute. It's really sweet. I had so much fun reading this and I feel like this is a friends to lovers that most people don't talk about but it's really, really good. Next we have Frigid by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I believe this audiobook is on Audible Escape, if I'm not mistaken. This is a new adult romance. I believe they're in college or college age, like 21, 22. This book is all centered around Sydney and Kyler, and they have been best friends since like kindergarten, basically. Sydney has always had a secret little crush on Kyler, but Kyler is somewhat of a um, ladies man. <laughs> He's always been with a girl never more than a month or so. This book takes place their senior year of college and that she really does not want to risk their friendship by telling him how she feels. But Kyler has also had secret feelings for Sydney. He's always kept her on this really high pedestal that he thinks he will never reach so he's never put himself out there with her because he thinks he's not good enough for her. They end up going on a ski trip with a bunch of friends but these two are the only ones that get stuck in this cabin that they're renting out by themselves in a blizzard. They start expressing their feelings to each other through 
being stuck in a house together for a couple days. This was a really fun read. It's not one of my favorites. I believe I gave it three stars, but it was still very, very enjoyable. Next, we have Wrong to Need You by Leisha Rye. This is the second book in the Forbidden Hearts series. You don't need to read this series in order, but I think you'd probably get the most out of it if you did. So this is about Sadia and Jackson. Sadia is Indian American and she is bisexual and she is a single mom and a widow. The reason why she met her husband is because she was best friends with his brother here on the cover. So growing up, Sadia and Jackson were best friends, super duper close, but then Sadia was introduced to his brother and they ended up falling in love, but her husband ended up passing away. So this is a romance. Years later, after her husband has passed and Jackson and Sadia end up finding each other again and end up falling for each other. Jackson's always held a little flame for Sadia in his heart and so he finally like expresses his feelings to her. It is so stinking good. He is also of Hawaiian and Japanese descent so this whole series is just so diverse. I love this series a lot and amazing friends to lovers that I really recommend. Next I have Big Rock by Lauren Blakely. I believe this one is also an audible escape if you want to check it out. So I don't remember our main character man's name but he is somewhat of a player. He's known for being a player but his dad needs him to like cool down because I believe in their company that they are a part of they're trying to get these investors and they're very much into the family image so he ends up asking his best friend and business partner Charlotte to pretend to be his fiance and apparently she has her own reasons for accepting the fake engagement but with them somewhat being in the limelight of um, social media and them being engaged kind of sparks a love match between them. Um, they start developing feelings for each other through all of this. This is a really funny friends to lovers fake dating fate engagement romance that I had a really fun time reading. Hey y'all we're going to stop the video for a second and shout someone out from my shout out mug. If you didn't know I try to shout out a uh, booktuber in every video that I do. Sometimes I forget and I'm very sorry, but I have every single person that I am subscribed to in this mug, no matter if they're big or small. So we're gonna shout someone out today. So today's is going to be this one. It is, oh my goodness, it's Emma, Emma Ham. <laughs> Emma Ham's actually on author tube kind of. So Emma Ham wrote, I think I have the book right here actually. Emma Ham wrote the uh, Heart of the Fae series, which is a fantasy romance series. This one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and uh, she just has so many other fantasy romance books that I absolutely adore. She started a YouTube channel involving books and writing. So if you're into that, I totally recommend Emma Ham. She hasn't been posting recently, but she has some great videos on her channel that I absolutely adore. I love Emma Ham. She's an amazing writer and I feel like the advice that she gives is probably really great for those who want to write a romance book or a fantasy romance book. So I really recommend Emma Ham's channel. Next I have Nailed Down by Shell Bliss and Eaton Butler. This is the first book in the Nailed Down series. I believe I also listened to this one through Audible Escape and it's very short. This is a book centered around um, a couple who work on like an HGTV kind of show together. I don't remember a main character or man's name. He's always had a huge crush on his co-star and best friend Kit. Kit's best friend ends up passing away and when she passes away she gives this bucket list she has for her. This is about our main character man and Kit completing this bucket list together because he really wants to help her with it and some of it may have some steamy things that she has to complete and he may or may not be willing to help her with those tasks. So through the completing the bucket list and spending more time together, they end up realizing that they also have feelings for each other. This is a really, again, funny Friends to Lovers that was just a fun time, fun time to read. Next I have A Notorious Vow by Joanna Shoup. This is a historical romance that I absolutely adored. This is the third book in the 400 series, but you don't need to read them in order. I don't believe they correlate with each other at all. So this romance is between Lady Christina and Oliver. So Lady Christina is from England, but her parents end up moving to America to try and marry Christina off so that they can get some money to pay off some debts in England. Very focused on Christina finding a husband however means possible even if he's an old bat so that they can get money and pay off some debt. They don't really care about Christina's happiness. So when they go to America they're staying at 
uh, Christina's aunt's house and right next door to her aunt's house is Oliver's estate. Christina has social anxiety so she likes to escape to Oliver's garden without him knowing to basically calm herself down and Oliver catches her in his garden one day and is like what are you doing in my garden? Oliver is also deaf and through her visiting his garden they start developing a friendship even though Oliver is very abrasive and wants to be by himself and thinks that other people will judge him because he's deaf. He realizes that he can find a friend through Christina. He will do whatever means possible to make sure she does not get married to this horrible old man that her parents have set up for her. So he might propose a marriage of his own to Christina, even though there's no like love relation there. Uh, he just wants to keep her safe and it is such a a wonderful beautiful friends to lovers. I love Oliver and Christina so much. Oliver is just an amazing brooding character and their friends to lovers relationship is just amazing to read about. And lastly on this list we have Full Tilt by Emma Scott. This is about Casey and she is a part of this rock band but she is a huge alcoholic. One night after one of her shows, her boss puts her in a limo, asks the limo driver to take her home because she is completely smashed. And so Jonah is the driver of this limo and he ends up driving her to her house, but she doesn't have any keys on her and he can't let her in her house. And Jonah does not want to leave Casey on her doorstep with no keys, like no way to get in. And she is passed out blackout drunk. So he takes her to his own apartment so that she can sleep on his couch and take her home the next day. Once she wakes up, they end up becoming friends out of all of this. And Casey finds someone that she can really rely on and trust in because she has had a horrible past that has led to her alcoholism. This is the one celebrity romance that I actually love. I normally don't like celebrity romances, but this one is so good just because the celebrity aspect isn't that big of a thing in it. And just the friends to lovers is absolutely like beautiful because neither of them are looking for a relationship at all. So they develop a friendship first and they can't help but catch feelings for each other through all of it. And it is beautiful and amazing and I love this book so stinking much. And there you have it. Those are some Friends to Lovers recommendations that I have for y'all. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these romances or if you plan to. I absolutely adored reading all of these books, so I hope that y'all do as well. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye!